afternoon. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another uh, session of our live uh, data science clinic live. Today, we're going to talk about how to find your most valuable customers using RFM analysis. So, this let me check and make sure that everything is fine. Learn from my lesson last week. Mm. So let's get started. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, RFM analysis. So uh, when it comes to customer service, right? There, are, there, are, there are a lot of customers that we need to prioritize them. Like we wish to give all our customers the the equal amount of attention but the reality is we can't right so some of the customers they are more valuable to us some of the customers uh, are less right not not i i don't think this is sort of like a, i wouldn't say discrimination against a particular group of people because we are not really um how do i put it in words like we are we're not really trying to uh, separate them you know or if somebody spend a lot more with us then we should treat them nicer but rather we want to make sure that we we normalize the entire group of customers so that uh, we can engage them more but of course if those customers they are not active on our platforms or they are not actively engaging with us we need to we can also use this indicator to help us to find out whether it's our problem or maybe the our services and products just not that suitable for them or they just don't buy it uh, regularly so uh, how the, the sort of questions that we want to ask when it comes to prioritizing our value customers are uh, when was the last time they visit us how often they purchase and how much they spend in marketing this is actually uh, what they call uh, behavioral segmentation so it's a form of uh, segregation that divides people into different groups who have a specific behavioral pattern in common so they share a common behavior and these people may share the same life cycle stage uh, they could be like they previously bought uh, some product with us and it could be uh, they often buy from us or they, they spend quite a lot with us so for example if you if your customers spend a lot in in your shop right you they expect you to treat them differently like a vip for example now if somebody uh, buy frequently from us then they will be what we call a regular patrons or regular customers so they they expect or they deserve to be treated differently of course like i mentioned earlier right if your focus is on activating those customers who are cold or who suddenly turn cold after a while this could be a useful tool as well so the to quantify this behavior we are using this um, technique or this model in data science called the rfm scoring so rfm actually stands for three components which are recency frequency and monetary so in recency we measure the freshness of the customer activity for example uh, when was the last time the customer interact with us so this can be calculated using the days since their last purchase or last visit the frequency uh, can be measured by using the intensity of a customer relationship so if they buy frequently from us definitely they are they are uh, regular customers and maybe they deserve a, a discount so this is to uh, calculate how frequent the customers interact with us and based on the number of days between purchases and last but not least is the monetary so monetary uh, is to measure how much does the customer spend and we use this to measure their lifetime value CLTV and this indicator actually represent the customers uh, purchasing power so you don't have to memorize everything right you just have to remember in in a nutshell RFM scoring stands for recency frequency monetary and basically we're just measuring when was the last time they visit us how often they purchase and how much they spend all right and 
Uh, RFM model is a very popular scoring model in most of the retails and e-commerce platform because really is something that is very intuitive and also something that is very practical like as soon as you calculate the RFM score of your customers you can immediately do something for them right do something to them so you can uh, do different directed target marketing with them and the most important thing is unlike other uh, type of data that uh, requires a lot of effort to collect RFM data uh, is actually very easy you basically almost uh, I wouldn't use the word almost like everybody has this data right you you have an invoice and there's a date every time when a customer purchase something from you especially in today's world everything is digitalized you have invoice date you have the amount and you can based on these two right you can easily calculate the recency frequency and of course the monetary and let's look at how do we calculate RFM score using uh, simple tool uh, our uh, spreadsheet give me a sec So this is a s uh, sample data set. Let me zoom in a little bit. It is an e-commerce data set uh, we got. So on your on the left, the first column is the invoice number, and then the second column is our invoice date. So let me format to. Uh, and the third column is the customer ID the fourth column is the product code is the stock code so it's a SKU number this one we can fix it as well okay and this is the description of the actual product so they are porcelain Buddha incense holder why do, what, <laughs> why do you spell Buddha like this <laughs> and then you have a uh, Jess address book you have uh, and a peel box you have kitty pencil erasers ba basically it's just a typical uh, typical shops right uh, that you see on e-commerce uh, e-commerce stores they, they sell a lot of different products and this is a quantity this is a unit price and this is the total so so you can see this is a very uh, straightforward very simple uh, how do I say that uh, very simple data that you you ha everybody has it as long as you you run you are e either you are using a POS a point of sale system or you are using an uh, e-commerce uh, software like WooCommerce you have this um, data right you can easily export this into an Excel spreadsheet so what we are going to do next is we are going to turn this into a pivot table okay so let's go to So I'm going to turn this into a pivot table and using this pivot table we can we can use it to aggregate like the uh, customer ID the uh, total total amount that they have spent and the count is the uh, frequency all right the uh, when was the last time that they uh, sorry this is to calculate to to count how many times we use sum here right to calculate how many times these customers has come to our shop within the billing period so in the original data set here I use uh, this is one year this is a data set of, of one one particular year okay and so once you get this information you can then uh, put this data into another table okay so put your aggregated pivot table data into another table so in this table you can uh, then on the second column is the invoice date so this invoice date is the maximum invoice date which is uh, which I should call it the last visited okay last visited date and then uh, 
based on this last visited date, we can take uh, today's date uh, minus the last visited date. So here you will get the number of days. So when was the last time that they visit us? So you can sort it differently. Yeah. Okay. Right. So these are the dates, and you get the the number of days since they last visited. Then the frequency, I we got it from the pivot table, right? This is we get it from the count of customers ID. And the monetary, of course, is the total amount of money that they have spent uh, during the period. So here you get the R score, F score, and uh, sorry, your your R calculation, your F calculation, and your M calculation. And you can again, you can you can sort it as well, right? So what you need to do next is to give this. Um, Customers score is we're using a, a very straightforward uh, intuitive scale from 1 to 5 That calculates your recency frequency and monetary and this is done using your uh, Your quartile so we basically split that into into five quartile. So this is the minimum. This is the maximum This is 25% 50% and 75% so all these five type of customers they e each have a quarter so if the recency score if they are uh, if their last visit us within 57 to 92 days 23 days then they will be assigned a score of five and if they visit us within 93 to 174 days 77 days then they will be assigned a score of four okay so this is how you calculate the uh, recency and uh, recency is the one that is reversed because if the the, sh the smaller the dates right the higher the score and frequency and for frequency and monetary is different so the higher the frequency the more that they visit us the higher the score and same goes to monetary right the, the more that they spend the more the higher the score they will be assigned Okay, and this table and this table is done using the uh, quartile. Uh, what you can do next is to calculate the in the score for for individual user, right? For for each of the customer. So, for example, these particular customers, I want to know the R score. I can use VLOOKUP. So to look out his R value using this recency table. All right, using this recency table. And then, yeah, I I assume that you know how to use a VLOOKUP table, right? It's a vertical lookup table. So let me know if you don't in the comment section. I can explain to you further. And then uh, you can, oh, sorry. You do the same for the F frequency and then for the monetary. And after this, we can use the concatenate functions to combine these three scores together. There are different ways to calculate it, but the outcome is the same. So if you sum this up, then you'll get 5, 6, 7. And the maximum score is uh, maximum score is 15, and then the minimum score is 3. So it's from 111 to 555. If not, uh, like what I've done here, I prefer to concatenate them into uh, one because at, at one glance I can tell that okay this customer is someone who has uh, high R but low F and low M so you can uh, sort them based on their value and this is 554 so this is a customer who come very frequently who, vis who visit us lately and also uh, spend quite a lot of money with us okay spend quite a lot with us so this is the uh, RFM score so you get the RFM score for each customer okay now after you have gotten the RFM score then you can put them into a scale and segment them so this is where the interesting part comes in so uh, you can say that these are the champion so champion are uh, customers who have a R score between 4 to 5 and who have a F score between uh, 4 to 5 now you have uh, loyal customers uh, potential loyalists uh, at risk so at risk is very simple you have customers uh, who, who came very often but their recency is very low right so those customers who who came often but uh, 
recency is very low about to s hibernating yeah this is interesting right so low frequency <laughs> low recency and so you can see that we don't use uh, all all three because uh, different different customers have different different spending patterns yeah but this is based based on their recency and their their frequency and so after we have customers, then we can use different activation strategy with them. So for example, if they are champions, reward them because they can become evangelists and early adopters for your new products. And if they are your loyal customers, you can then upsell higher with uh, value value products. So you you have to cross you have to check between these two tables. Yeah, uh, this one and this one. Okay. And uh, hibernating, yeah, recreate brand value, offer relevant products and good offers. So I'll leave it to you to, to read this. I wouldn't go through one by one, but basically these are a list of uh, 